Hi everyone, it's Morgan. Let's talk heatless curls. If you look this up online, there's like a million different ways to do it, but one way specifically has been trending on TikTok a lot recently. So we're gonna do like a little trial and review tips, all of that. So the viral TikTok method I'm talking about is that like foamy type headband thing that you put in your hair, twist it around, you know, have you seen it? If you haven't seen it on TikTok, maybe you've seen it somewhere else. Regardless, so many different sellers sell it on Amazon right now, so that's exactly where I went. I ordered myself one right from Amazon, and this is what it looks like. It comes in this cute little package, drawstring. You just open it right up, and what you get is two scrunchies. It comes with a little spray bottle. Also a clear hair clip. I totally forgot it comes with a comb too. I just never used it. And there's also directions and stuff it comes with, but I didn't show those because I ended up throwing them away after I got the hang of it. So <laughs> and lastly, the star of the show, this little headband. There's a few different color options. I just got the hot pink one. It matches me. How adorable. But you can get like a cheetah print. I'm sure there's other colors. I'll link the exact one that I have. The idea is that you twist your hair around this, sleep with it in, take it out in the morning, you know, that whole thing. So basically, I washed my hair last night and I will be putting this in tonight and sleeping with it just to give you an idea of the timeline. I do have naturally straight hair. My hair does curl, not like super well, but it doesn't like not hold a curl yet. You know, I feel like I just have pretty average hair in general. A cautionary tip, however, if your hair is too wet, say you shower, get out, let it partially dry and put this in. When you wake up in the morning, your hair might not fully dry. So be very, very careful on the dampness of your hair. What I do specifically is twist this around on dry hair. And then when I'm completely done, I will go in with the spray bottle and wet it just a little bit so that I know, okay, it's wet. It can dry with a curl, but it's not too wet where I'm going to wake up in the morning and take it out and everything's just going to restrain because I have naturally straight hair. So let's walk you through on how you put this in. Basically, you just take it. It is one long string of kind of like some sort of foamy thing and it is velvety on the outside, which actually helps your hair stick to it. So I do love that. Of course, you're gonna wanna brush your hair out and just part it how you normally would. I like to separate my hair even down the back and then pull it all to the front just so I know that I'm getting every single piece. And then you'll wanna put this centered on the top of your head. If it gets a little bit off, off in terms of being longer on one side than the other that's totally fine you will take the hair clip and just kind of clip the piece in place it, it doesn't need to be a super tight grip like don't worry about this step because you end up taking it out anyway it's just kind of there so that the piece doesn't move while you're wrapping from here you're gonna want a French twist if you have no idea what that is you might want to kind of look that up but essentially you'll take a small piece of your hair near the top and you will wrap away from your face around the foam piece and then pick up hair as as you go. So you'll wrap it, pick up more hair, wrap it again, pick up more hair, all of that, all the way down through the bottom. This doesn't have to be perfect. It can be kind of messy. However, I would kind of make sure that the piece you're wrapping is smooth, like there's not any knots, it's not crazy twisted. Make sure your hair is kind of nice and brushed out so that your curl can be nice and soft and natural and pretty and you don't take it out and because your hair was tangled, it's like frizzy and weird. So as you wrap it around the whole thing, you get to the bottom and this is where the scrunchies come into play. At first, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, okay, if I'm tying the ends of my hair, it's obviously going to be thin. I'm going to want a small hair tie. If you prefer that, I mean, go ahead. But also, these scrunchies are velvety, so I do find that it actually does hold the bottom of my hair. So just wrap this tightly around the foam piece as many times as you can so it's nice and secure. And then you're going to go ahead and do the other side, of course. French twisting, starting at the top, you know, wrapping all the way down, and then taking your second scrunchie that they give you and securing the bottom. So then your hair is fully in these twists you can go ahead and take the clip out you can see my hair is definitely a little bit uneven in terms of one of the pink foamy pieces is longer than the other but the curls are about the same so like that does not matter at all an extra step and material I will take though to help this kind of stay in place and kind of stay out of my face and stuff like that is I will take the ends and take another scrunchie and tie the foam pieces behind my head this also probably helps them just not move too much like I said the velvet does keep your hair nice in place but it's just kind of nice to have them out of the way. This is an optional step and I just grabbed an extra scrunchie that I already had that is also velvet so it keeps the fabric kind of in place. From here I will take my spray bottle and wet my hair. Just be light okay. You can do a very light coat kind of feel it and have your best judgment. You can always add more but you can't add less. Keep that in mind. So just wet it enough where you think it feels damp but just don't 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 go too hard. You want it to dry and if you're sleeping with it in you know if your head's on your pillow it probably makes it harder for your hair to dry. And then I will go ahead and add a little 
bit of hairspray. You don't have to if you don't want to add product, but it's just something that you can do that I did do. And then that's literally it. All you gotta do is go to sleep and wake up in the next morning and see how it turns out. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I will see you in the morning. Hello, good morning. It's clearly the next day. They do get a little wild in your sleep, not gonna lie. You might have to kind of like lay a little different than you normally do, but it's not uncomfortable. So as long as you just make it work. But now it's time. Let's take them out. Obviously, I'll take this out first. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Oh my gosh, they get so off center, which is fine because obviously like this thing can move. It's not a problem. Let's take this out. The final reveal. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay, but now we can like mess it up a little. My top hair is like a little bit matted down, but the curls are looking so cute. And they'll totally like mellow out a little bit more throughout the day even. I think I'll put a little dry shampoo to help the top. It looks a little bit better. Here's the back. The back is adorable. Oh my goodness. I love the back. Okay, well, I think these are a huge success, honestly. Viral TikTok product that is like very much worth it to be viral. I'm not gonna brush these out, but I think you could if you wanted. I just do want them to kind of last and I'm nervous that if I brush them, they won't. But how freaking cute. Like this is perfect. And they're not like super zingy, obviously, but I wouldn't want that anyway. So like just knowing that I can get this like voluminous, bouncy look with zero heat. Look at this. Okay, highly recommend. The tool, so cheap. Obviously, I'll have it linked. You should really, you should really check it out. Do you love? I love. I ended up brushing them out just because I wanted them to look a little bit softer, and I feel like my hair was a little, like, messy. So this is what they look like brushed out. Still, like, curly. They look a lot softer, that's for sure. This is if they're all, like, curled up, though. If I mess them up a little... They still look like this. It's just perfect if you want like a little texture in your hair. I have naturally straight hair. So like I have to do something if I want any type of literally anything in my hair. And like even them brushed out. This is still so gorgeous. I'll show you the back. So like beautiful. Oh, I love them. The product is so affordable and just so worth it. I honestly bet it does work well for short hair too. As long as you can wrap it around the thing, it should work. Well, this was a heatless viral TikTok curler tested, reviewed, and approved by me. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried this, if you're gonna try it, and thanks for watching. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in my next one.